Hello, everyone, and welcome to Oktoberfest here at Naples Settlement. I'm Marcel X. Francis here. We are here on Facebook Live here for Oktoberfest 2023, and we're going to be here talking about some German cuisine, food, music, and much more that will be going on. I'm here with Brittany Tepper, who is a direct mar who is a m director of marketing here at Naples Settlement. Brittany, thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for joining us. How are you today? Great. Thank you so much for coming to Oktoberfest, Marcel. Thank you very much for having us. So, Brittany, just to get started, I mean, we have quite the spectacle going around here, as you will see in just a few moments. But just to get started, what's Oktoberfest for people who don't know? Well, it is a celebration of German culture. We have food, we have beer and wine. We also have some great musical lineups, both today and tomorrow. Fantastic. So we're going to have a lot to look forward to. But, Brittany, let's first kind of take it back to the past and talk a little bit about the history of Oktoberfest and also German culture here in Naperville for people who may not know. So how does, um, how, tell us about the history of Oktoberfest in Naperville. Sure. We've been doing this Oktoberfest for about 13 years. And as you mentioned, we have a very um, robust German culture here, and so we've been celebrating it, and each year we've been getting bigger and better. Um, this year we have a huge tent, which you'll see in a second. We have more food vendors than ever, and um, it's going to be a great time. Fantastic, and also Oktoberfest is also German, but a part of that barbarian culture, of course, as we talk about with the tents as well, and a lot of things we see here at Naples Settlement really reflect the the Oktoberfest culture from Germany, and you can see it here as well. As we can look around, we have some really nice vendors here today. Belgio's Catering, which we'll see here in a little bit. We also have here Ben Soft Pretzels, Soft Pretzels, and also Pork Sausages, which is, again, traditional German cuisine, correct? Yep, exactly. And as I said, Belgio's is here, Ben's Pretzels, and then we also have um, a variety of other things. If you want to come in for ribs, we've got John's Rib House here as well. So we have a whole variety, depending on what you what? Fantastic. So a little bit of American cuisine as well for people who may love what they have here in the United States. So we're going to start walking here and as we can see we have our very nice sponsors here who are helping with this event putting Oktoberfest on. And tell me Brittany, Oktoberfest, it has expanded over the years, correct? Yes, actually we are walking through um, an expanded area. Just from last year we have more sponsors, we have more food, we have more people coming to celebrate as well, which has been fantastic. Fantastic. As you can see here, people now starting to settle in, come in now. Doors just opened at 5 o'clock. It's now 5.30, and this is a two-day event again, so people, don't be shy to come out. The weather is not as bad as you think it is. Now, we're going to be here at the White Tent, and we also see some catering here as well. And also, some traditional German beverages will be on tap as well, Brittany. Am I correct? Yeah, so we have one of the largest Oktoberfest beer menus in the region. We have both um, German beer, and we also have a lot of um, Oktoberfest varieties from local breweries as well. Fantastic. And for a lot of those uh, breweries, um, where are they um, usually coming from? And how, what makes the brew, the beverages, excuse me, what makes them German um, beers? They're um, imported from Germany, a lot of them. Um, and then the other ones are um, local takes on Oktoberfest and the flavors um, in a traditional Oktoberfest beer. Fantastic. So a lot of very traditional German cuisine here on display. As you can see here at Belgian Canaan, the line is already quite backed up, as you can see here. But it's not just food and drinks down here on display. There's also plenty of fun activities and games also for family-friendly activities, as you say, Brittany, as well, right? And that includes, I could think as well, some of the pumpkin carving, if we can make our way over here. As we can see, some activities that you can celebrate as it's now the beginning of spooky season. Yes, and this is my favorite part of Oktoberfest that we throw. I think it's so unique. We do, we have a professional pumpkin carver here, uh, Titus. He is award winning. He also does ice sculptures and he's won a ton of awards for that as well. Um, and seeing him make those creations right in front of your eyes, it, they're works of art and they're beautiful and it's really exciting. Fantastic. And as you can see, the very intricate details of the pumpkin carving as well here. And again, and to see the very nice details, you have the Oktoberfest pumpkin there. We also have the very nice Naples Settlement pumpkin, as I'm sure. That's very, very nice for the brand as well, I assume, too. 
And again, some more activities that will be coming up as well. Tomorrow, Brittany, you talk about the Steinholding competition, something that's very unique uh, to German fun and activities. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what that entails? Yes, it's so fun. So from 5 to 5.30 tomorrow, we'll have a Steinholding contest. We'll have both um, men and women categories. And the winners will get a, a fun prize package. And it's a lot of fun just to see everybody lined up with their beers and kind of trying to get them um, the to you know not to come down it's it's great it's fun Fantastic. So if you want to participate in that competition, make sure to come out tomorrow, Saturday. That's something that sounds really fun and you definitely do not want to miss. But that's also not the only things that will be going on as well. As we can see here behind the white tent will be where all the fun and action is. And we're going to take, see if we can take just a little bit of a peek in there as we start to see a little bit of a crowd starting to form and file in. And Brittany, we have some also traditional German music that will be playing as well, correct? We do. So... Um, today we have a, a focused in on um, the German and polka. We'll end the nights with the polkaholics, um, which is a really fun mixture of polka and modern music. Um, and then tomorrow we'll have a variety of music. We'll start the day off with some fun polka, um, and then we will go to some country music, and then we'll end the night with a big brass band that does hip hop and reggae, and a lot of fun. Um, so we're really excited for this year's musical lineup. Oh, wow, so you're going to have some reggae as well on display, too. So uh, when you, you really do emphasize that there is a variety of activities, music, and things for everyone to come out and enjoy. Yeah, we celebrate German culture, but I think anybody will have fun here at this Oktoberfest. <laughs> when you said reggae, reggae, I really raised my eyebrows as I'm to make it myself. But as you said as well, so what are some of the entertainment bands on display as well? Of course, we had Ed Wagner's Brass Band as well, the Pokemites as well. Who will be also performing uh, later on and tomorrow? We will have Lowdown, um, Lowdown Brass Band will be here. They're the big headliner at the end of the night. Um, and that's, I'm really excited for that one. Is that, is that uh, going to be your favorite, you think? I think it might be, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And uh, Brittany, so for people who may have, may not have been able to get tickets uh, so far for Oktoberfest, can they still get them online? Where can they maybe go get tickets and how much is admission? Sure, so you can get tickets um, at neighborsettlement.org slash Oktoberfest, or you can just come up and um, we can help you up at the front, uh, front tent. Fantastic. And why would you want people to come out to Oktoberfest, especially for people who maybe have not been to Oktoberfest before or maybe haven't been to Naples Settlement and seen what it all has to offer? You know, we do a we as a staff here really enjoy celebrating um, our community, and I think that you can really feel that when you're here, um, when you're walking down and you see everybody enjoying themselves, making connections, seeing their neighbors. It's it's really an amazing event, and um, I'm really glad to be a part of it. Fantastic. And we can so see more people now are starting to, starting to file in now as the party is just getting started. So if you want to come to Oktoberfest here at Naper Settlement, make sure to come. It is a two-day event, just getting started today, and we'll be going through tomorrow. And again, Brittany, doors open at 5 o'clock. Am I correct? So tomorrow we're actually open from 3 to 10. So you'll get some extra hours tomorrow of fun. So it'll be great. Oh, wow. So seven hours of fun tomorrow for people who want to participate during the weekend. So that's a lot of fun for people to look forward to this weekend with Oktoberfest. Brittany, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. Guys, thank you so much for joining us here on Facebook Live for Fun Fridays uh, here at Naperville Sediment for Oktoberfest. I'm Marcel Francis, and thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Make sure to follow us on NCTV. Make sure to follow us at NCTV17 on our social media platforms and visit us at NCTV17.org. Thank you for joining us.